Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I just want to talk about some of the resources that I wish I knew about when I was first starting creative development. You know, uh, I think when I first started, I didn't even know some of these existed and it kind of just made learning a nightmare. And so today I want to show you some of them. So my computer screen is over here and I couldn't fit my camera over there. So it'll be over here. But yeah, so these resources, you can use it for like inspiration. You can use it for looking at design rationales, how they made the concepts. And it also shows you things like technical implementations, like how did they do those custom camera movements? How did they do those interactions and all these really, really cool stuff. You know, you can also learn things like optimization and, and, you know, basically a bunch of stuff like new technologies too. So, you know, enough talking, I'll just show you the first resource that I really like. And these are case studies for websites. So if you see a really awesome website, it probably also has a case study and it's not always on awards.com. So maybe you want to go on the digital agency's website to see a case study or maybe some blog about it where someone else wrote a case study on it. But a lot of them are on awards.com. And I think I read every single case study that comes out on awards.com because you learn so much. So here you can see I just hit case study in awards.com blog and then you can see all these case studies. So here Atmos is a pretty popular website. So I decided to open its case study and you, you can see like, oh, how did they move that plane? And then it's like, oh, they used a Catmo ROM curve. And then if you're familiar with the basics of 3GS, you know that this is actually an example straight in 3GS.org examples. And then you can just implement that to, to your own project, which is really, really cool. And then you're like, oh, how did they make the sky? You would think, oh, and it would be scene.background. But if you actually look here, it's actually a sphere that follows a plane. So here you can actually start developing your creative intuition. Like, oh, how did they implement that? Well, I could do a scene background. I could maybe now make a sphere. Then you can just use like your general observations. Like, oh, hey, look, I can see the jagged edges of these sphere. So now you know that, hey, you don't need a high poly sphere to make a realistic or sorry, a smooth cloud. You, you can use a very low poly one for optimization and get away with it. So here, you know, just by observing it, even if they don't even mention it, you can start developing your, your intuition on how to implement some of these really cool websites. And they'll mention things like optimization, Draco compression, distance meshing, you know, all these optimization techniques. And, you know, they'll also mention new technologies. Like I didn't even know this existed until I read this case study. And now it's like, oh, hey, if I want 3D text, maybe I can use this JavaScript library instead of, you know, manually doing it myself. And then they're like, oh, how do, how do I make transition? You know, how do they do that? And it's like, oh, it's just Perlin 2D noise. And usually on the bottom here, they list all the technology they use or like the, the bigger ones. And that's also really helpful because you're like, oh, hey, I know 3GS. I know Blender. I know GSAP. And then, then it's like, oh, if they can do it with those, then I can do it too. And you can also like cross reference these with other case studies. And the more that you more case studies that you read, the more implementation methods that, you know, you start, you know, developing further your intuition on how to create these really cool stuff. And that's kind of, I feel like the biggest hindrance when you want to start a project, you don't know where to start. You don't know where to go, but reading these, you know, now you have a starting point because you know how award-winning websites do it. So if you've ever visited this website, you're like, oh, how did they do the camera stuff? And they also use Camel ROM curve. You can see Camel ROM curve, and then they have a target spline. So, so that basically you get a point on another curve that updates on each frame. And then your camera has another curve that it moves along. And then the camera is going to look at the point on the other curve while it moves on its own curve, which is actually in my first video with the sprite zero limits learning how to learn they also used the two curves method so you can see oh hey i have two curves here at this point it's like oh hey i'll use the two curve method if i want to do camera movements like these you can also see how they conceptualize things how they make inspiration here you can see oh they used they actually used ai to help generate concepts for them and you're like oh hey this really awesome digital agency actually uses ai to help them generate concepts so that's really cool and yeah, so I just listed, I just listed some resources that I often use or I would use if I was a complete beginner. Some YouTube channels too. I don't really watch many YouTube videos anymore because I, I'm at the point where I can like figure things out on my own, but a lot of them are great for like reference, especially if you're like a beginner. So I really like this guy because he makes some really cool stuff in, in short videos. You should be like 
beginner to intermediate level though but here you can see some really high quality stuff that you know he does really quickly and wawa sensei makes a lot of really great react Cree fiber content so definitely check him out and i kind of just put subheadings to what they primarily focus on but that's not only what they do and then anything is just whatever they feel like posting other resource lists that other people have created that you can check out here some other cool stuff and some people that I follow. Don't limit yourself to this list. There's a lot of other things that can be listed on here. I just can't list them all because it would just be too many and because I'm lazy. But, you know, if you're like into game dev, a lot of those concepts also apply to 3GS and WebGL, like shaders, for example. So a lot of those concepts transfer over. So, you know, definitely expand your horizons. You'll never know what you need to know because in the creative development field, it's multidisciplinary. So creative development, you know, it intersects with a lot of fields, right? You have 3D, you have VFX, you have game design, uh, you know, shaders, user experience. It's, it's so much more than just programming when you want to get into creative development. So, you know, expand your horizons, check out really cool stuff. And yeah, so I hope that helped in some way on how you can start developing your intuition to create your own really cool stuff. And oh, before I end this video, I just wanna say, if you wanna chat with me, feel free to schedule a meeting with my calendar link below. And if none of those times work, feel free to send me an email listing when you're available and then I'll just choose the time from there. You know, I'd love to chat with you. It, and it doesn't have to be code related, by the way. You know, if you just want someone to talk to about anything, you know, I'm totally down for that as well. Yeah. So, you know, the reason I started this channel wasn't just to be a creative development channel. I wanted it to help my uh, like a younger version of myself because it I went through a lot to get to where I am today and I didn't have a lot of people helping me. So, you know, not to be like negative or anything, but I want to make sure that you don't feel what I felt. So if I can help you in some way, definitely let me know. And if you'd like to chat, you know feel free to message me and reach out in some way. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Um, yeah, so take care. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Uh, take care and uh, 